hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about one of the code unit of system module called field selection okay so uh, as you can see currently there are two code units are uh, available in the system application uh, with the name field selection and the field selection implementation so if you open this code unit you will find one uh, function only only one function called open and uh, the implementation is done via second code unit okay so which is the field selection implementation so basically uh, the use of this code unit is uh, we will use only this code unit because we have to call only this function and when system go to this function system uh, automatically calls this second code unit of the field selection implementation so basically the use of uh, this field selection is to expose the functionality of uh, field lookup okay as you can see it is written here also that uh, because there is one uh, table called field and if you open that uh, field page okay it will show you the details of every table and in each table there are so many fields so it will show you a information of all those fields per table so you it this table will have the table number table name field number field name and there i would not say that you will require this in every functionality which you are developing but in some cases you might require the to to look up the field number to look up the field name to look up the uh, table number so on like that stuff so if you want to look up the field number and uh, fetch out the field number against certain tables so in that scenario this code unit will really help you a lot okay so we will see that how this actually works in the business central so uh, just for uh, easy understanding i have uh, created one table custom table called field selection test and it has these fields table number field name table name and field number okay so you will have table number field number table name field name and just uh, for this table i have created the list page so that we can see the actual use of a field table and this field selection code unit all right so let's start with that so currently if i open this you will find that uh, there will be only these fields available in which you can manually input the information okay you can always manually input the things but now uh, for example in this table number i just want to have a lookup uh, which will give me a list of all the table numbers in the in my database so what i can do is i can add one property called table relation and here i can use this table called field with this table number right so it will give me a lookup okay from where i could select the table number from this field table and system will pass this table number into this particular field all right now because i have got the table number uh, it's better to have the table name also uh, right uh, after selection of that particular table number so that you could also see that which table you are selecting the name of that table so let me uh, use this on validate trigger and i'll add one variable of field record record field all right so field record dot set range it has called field uh, table number and now my custom table also have this uh, field called table number so now if field rec dot find first then my record 
table name should get the value of the table name from the field rec table so here it is okay so in this field what we are doing we are just uh, we have we are uh, using this property called table relation we we set it to the field table with the table number field and it will give me a glimpse of all the table numbers in that uh, available in my database then as soon as i select the table number i will uh, fetch out the table name from the field table so this is how we can use this is one of the use of the field table but the main use is to have the list of all the fields available in all my tables okay so let's see that part so this part we can cover in this particular field called field number okay so because uh, now we have one system code unit available so we just have to use that and through that we could set a lookup field lookup and uh, select uh, our uh, require field from the field table so how we will do that let's add one trigger or uh, called lookup and again create some variable one is of field and second value variable is of the our main code unit called field selection okay so these are the two variables which we are creating now the first thing is that if you don't want then it's okay you 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 do not require this variable so if we don't use this variable then uh, how we can uh, set the lookup is that we just set this open and pass our variable called field because when you place your cursor here it will ask you to pass uh, its parameter with the because it takes the parameter of field table okay it takes the parameter of field table so that's why we are just passing it here and now when you pass it here system will show you all the table number all the field uh, uh, fields available in all those tables okay so from there obviously you can based on your selection in that uh, huge list you can uh, just now pass the your field number information in your custom table via like this field record dot number okay so this is how we can do that but obviously uh, you have already passed the table number here right so your uh, current page is having the information of the table number in which you want to look up the fields so why you uh, why you want to drill down all and have a look on all the tables available in your database so just to avoid that fact what we can do is that uh, we can make the use of uh, our variable which we have created and set the set range as like this if we rec dot find set don't use if obviously you will find something so now you're good to go so you already add your table filter and then when when this function uh, of this code unit runs it will give you a list of only those fields which are the part of your current table number okay so that's how you are selecting the field number from that particular table only and now i can also pass the field name along with this field record dot field name okay so let's see the result by first let me compile this and let me publish this app
okay as uh, oh, by the time it published i just want to repeat my statement again that basically you will uh, not uh, use this functionality or this code unit in every uh, your next customization or the process which you are building in the AL but uh, in move in certain scenarios you might require this and that is why Microsoft uh, make this a standard code unit in the system module so that uh, you should not uh, do your custom uh, customization for this particular requirement okay so let me select this page so currently uh, uh, because I was testing so it is uh, two records are already there but uh, let me delete this one and so that we could see it from the scratch click on new now see in this particular table number field uh, I have used a table relation property and not uh, the the special code unit which Microsoft is providing to us so how it will look when I click this you will see table number and this number number is the field number in this table number so 3 is the table number and 1 2 3 4 5 are the field numbers available in this particular table okay so based on this you can here find that so all the tables are available 3 4 and in each table you whatever number of fields are available it is showing you that stuff all right so for example uh, if I add one table of customer and as soon as you select it system uh, also fetch out the name of that table for you okay let's say in second scenario I'll select the vendor table and now this I got the table name okay so this is how I am doing uh, via table relation property but now for the field selection because uh, we have now our uh, special code unit with us with it which has one function called open so let's see the use of that so now as you can see when I place my cursor here I am getting this kind of icon because I am using the table relation property but when I place my cursor here I'm getting this kind of icon or this kind of button because I'm using the on lookup trigger I'm writing my code on the on lookup trigger so that's why it is showing me like this kind of button so when you click here now you see fields lookup page opens up this page opens because of this code unit function called open right this opens up because of this now as you can see because I have already selected my table number and I am already filtering out my uh, my field table this is the field table so I am already filtering out my field table based on the table number available in my selected record so that is why now you are not uh, seeing the table number column here okay you will get only the list of the fields available in your selected table number record so here you you can see that uh, you will find all the fields available in the customer table and this fields lookup page will not have uh, any other uh, fields available from any other table okay so like you can select any of the field for example I select this click on ok now I get this the field number and the field name okay generally in certain customizations in certain requirements which we receive from our clients we might require uh, this information which will help us to uh, to to develop it further right in those scenarios we use record reference and the field reference and during the time of coding only we pass uh, the information of the table number and and, and field number like that stuff but now we can use this kind of thing similarly if I select the second line and now if I click on this I will get the list of only the fields available in the vendor table so for example I select this and click on ok so you can see that the for the vendor table which is table number 23 I am using the field number called 19 okay 
let me select this time the third table which is the payment term and now if I select this I can see only the fields available which uh, in the payment table is visible in this fields lookup page so based on it I can select my field number and I'll get the value okay so this is the basic idea of uh, how this uh, code unit works and how this function works and based on your requirements you can always use the available code units in the system module which, which are very handy and I always uh, encourage you to use and uh, to use the system module system code units which are the part of the system module these are very handy and very helpful in your day-to-day -day customizations so uh, I hope you now get an idea of how this works and all the best for you to use it in your future requirements and the future customization. So uh, that's all in this today's video. Uh, if you like it, I request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.